Welcome back everyone. Guess what? Windows 10 is actually kind of old now, you know? Windows 11 actually ended up kind of being released and some of us have actually been able to use it. And what's funny is Windows and Microsoft actually mentioned that there was never going to be a Windows 11, that Windows 10 is going to be the last one. But I could tell within the last three years that Windows was definitely going to bring the next version of Windows as a numerical number rather than being like Windows 2021 or something like that. But is Windows 10 still worth it? Like, is it still worth using and, you know, buying in terms of buying a CD and installing it? Well, I'm going to tell you without a doubt, in my opinion, Windows 10 is going to be the main version of Windows for at least the next like two years. As most of you know, when a new version of Windows comes out with any version of software, it's not a good thing to just go like all in and just, you know, only use that specific version of software. It goes with Windows, it goes with Mac OS, it goes with Linux, it goes with iPhones, Androids, Xboxes, Nintendo Switches, all these different things. So it's always a good idea to stay maybe like one generation behind while the main generation, you know, Windows 11 kind of picks up steam and they bug fix on all those things and stuff. But in my opinion, Windows 10 has to be one of the best versions of Windows I've ever used. And I've been using Windows since Windows XP, so not as long as maybe some of you watching this, but I'm a fan of Windows 10. I had a laptop that had Windows 8, if you guys remember that, and that was the strangest experience of my life. It was like a hybrid of like a tablet and like a desktop. It was the strangest thing I've ever used. I don't know how I used that thing for like two, three years, but this for sure was a solid version of software. And this is probably the second most used software in my life. I think I used Mac OS, you know, number one. And even more than my iPhone, I use Windows 10. I use a Windows, you know, machine for a lot of different things that I do. And one thing I love about Windows is the simplicity of everything. It can be super chaotic and super, you know, powerful if you want it to be. But it can also be a, you know, super minimalistic device. And that's typically how I use my machines. You know, I typically use a very minimalistic approach to my workflow for sure, even my iPhones and all this stuff. But I've seen some crazy setups for Windows users. And to be honest, a lot of Windows users that I personally know have very crazy setups. They have these PCs that are just crazy, crazy powerful. And they game on them like crazy. And that's the one thing about Windows is that you can optimize this thing to exactly how you want it to be. Yes, there are some limitations here and there, but I'm a fan of Windows and I hope you are too if you're watching this. Now, this specific version of software came out about six years ago. So in 2015, that's when it was released to manufacturers, but it wasn't released in a couple weeks later in 2015 to, you know, the general public. And at that time, I think a lot of people were super happy about it because Windows 8 at that time was, pr people weren't super happy about it. And coming from me personally, I was not a fan of Windows 8 either. Windows 7 is said to be the pinnacle of, you know, Windows versions. And I think Windows 10 is better than Windows 7 overall. After using Windows 7 in some videos I've made, and even Windows XP was great. Windows 8, personally using it, was overheating my computer. just wasn't a great experience. Windows 10, though, is such an up-to-date, it's such a modern UI and a modern way of looking at things that I'm super happy about the way, you know, Microsoft went about of creating this specific software. Now, recently, I haven't been having too many issues, to be honest, but there have been a lot of issues, you know, early on when this thing first came out. There were bugs and all these things, and it's going to be very similar to how Windows 11 is. There's going to be bugs and problems like that early on. So obviously, Windows 11, the first year or two, is going to be similar to how Windows 10 in 2015, 2016 was. But to be honest, within probably that 2017 range, so within probably like 2023, 2024, Windows 11 is going to be the main version of Windows. Microsoft may still support Windows 10 here and there because a majority of devices are still going to be on it. But Windows 11 is going to be the main version of Windows, which in my opinion is going to break a lot of different devices to be completely honest. We've already been seeing that Windows 11 has certain criteria for you to install. It's similar to Windows 10, but this criteria has changed up quite a bit. And it seems like the way you have to go and install this version of software, there's a lot more hoops and even devices that are compatible aren't being able to be fully compatible with Windows 11 through their, you know, migration, you know, tool, whatever it is, which is crazy because Windows 10 as far as I know, maybe didn't have this issue as widespread, which makes me think that some people will, you know, the average consumer will go ahead, open up their laptop or a Windows PC on their Windows 10 PC. They'll go ahead and try to upgrade to it. If it doesn't work, they'll be like, oh, okay, Windows 11 doesn't look that different anyway. And they're going to stick with the Windows 10, making me think that Windows 10 is still going to be that main version of Windows for probably even the full duration of Windows 11. You know, it sounds crazy, but that's probably what could potentially be happening. Now, there's still a ton of features built in with Windows 10 that I don't see going away anytime soon. And Windows 11, to be honest, 
it was kind of underwhelming a little bit, but again, we'll see how Windows 11 goes once that time comes out. Now, some of the main features within, you know, Windows 10, which I'm reading this from Windows Wikipedia, there was an updated user interface, the desktop felt a lot newer, there were some security improvements, the command line got a little bit of an update, there were new storage requirements, there were some new online services and functionality, there were some gaming features, and there were some new fonts as well, which is really cool. And overall, the reception of Windows 10 was pretty positive. And as far as I know, and from what I've read before, it seemed like Microsoft was kind of in a hurry to bring out the next version of Windows because Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 weren't really looking that great. And, you know, Windows users weren't really happy about it. So that's why Windows 10 was that crazy cool update that people needed. And here's what's even crazier. According to April 2021, so pretty much just like a couple months ago, Windows PCs in terms of what's running what software, Software, Windows 10 is on 75% of Windows PCs, which is so amazing and so good to see. But surprisingly, Windows 7 is at number second place. Surprisingly, Windows 7 is at second place. Think about that. 75% of Windows users are on Windows 10, 18% of users are on Windows 7. That is so crazy to think about. And guess what's at third place? Windows 8.1 and Windows 8. So because of that, that makes me think that Windows 10 is still going to be here for the next year, for the next two years, possibly even for the full duration of Windows 11. Now, you may think to yourself again, well, that's crazy, that's not going to happen. But as I just mentioned, Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 are actually on less computers and have a smaller market share than Windows 7. That doesn't necessarily mean that Windows 7 is better than Windows 8 or 8.1, even though it is. That just means that more people wanted to stick with Windows 7. And on top of that, like I mentioned, quite possibly Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 may have had the same issue that Windows 11 has right now, which is the devices that are being upgraded to, maybe they're having issues with the software and their upgrade tool, and their, their devices that are compatible aren't being able to be updated to in the first place, and that's causing some issues too. So in my opinion, although Windows 11, there's not even like a full like in first install beta, there's just a bunch of betas coming out right now for Windows 11, we need to be able to talk about these issues because Windows 11 should be that next version that is the Windows 10. I don't want Windows 11 to be a Windows Vista or Windows 8. Although, you know, from what I've heard, every other version of Windows is the worst one, and that could potentially be the case here, but it, there wasn't anything super crazy with Windows 11 that Windows 10 didn't really already have, in my opinion. So, ultimately, I'm happy about Windows 10. I think this is one of the best OSs that Microsoft has made, period. And although people have still said that Windows 7 was like that top tier version, I really do think Windows 10, I mean, dude, Windows 10 is beautiful. I've had very little issues with this version of software. There's issues, obviously, with any version of software, but it's been a very solid experience. And, you know, six years later, I think it's still a very solid piece of software for sure. So that pretty much covers it up. I would love to know how you guys feel about Windows 10. Is it that great version of software still, or are you not super happy about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.